This could get really messy. Man, I'm looking real sunburnt. Hi guys, it's Maddie Klein from Outer Banks and today I am doing Marie Claire's Mask and Answer. I'm going to be trying out Shiseido's Purifying Peel-Off Mask. I'm super, super excited about it. What could go wrong? <laughs> Let's get started. Ooh, it's such a pretty color. Oh man, okay y'all. And in the meantime, Let's answer some questions. My morning skincare routine is super, super important to me. It is just as much of a ritual as my nighttime skincare routine. It helps me wake up in the morning. I always first use my benzoyl peroxide wash. I have fairly recently started using the SK2 Skin Essence and I get like blotchy red spots on my my cheeks and i've noticed that since i've started using that it's toned it up so much and it's basically like a like a superfood for your skin my next step is is skinceuticals vitamin c e for look serum vitamin c is amazing for your skin and it is also a wonderful protectant against harsh environmental factors it's a great thing to use before you get your day started and then after that i always follow up with a moisturizer usually i just use a tinted sunscreen do you deal with acne or pimples and what is your zit zapping routine yes <laughs> i do so the reason i use a benzoyl peroxide wash is because i am prone to getting not just pimples but cystic pimples and like the really really painful ones i've tried transitioning to salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide is the only thing that really keeps it at bay have you ever done anything weird or out of the box in the name of skincare yes when I was younger, my skin was much more oily than it is now, and I was always really desperate to find a solution. And so one time I used a liquid laxative on my face per the recommendation of Google. I broke out for like two weeks afterwards. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Skincare person all the way. It is like my guilty pleasure to go to a, a store like Sephora or Ulta or wherever and just browse skincare products. I love finding new masks to try, new moisturizers, new literally anything. It is an addiction, truly. I think my mom told me this, that skincare is the best makeup and I wholeheartedly agree. Rapid fire round, ready, let's go. Favorite all-time moisturizer. SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Nighttime Face Cream. My favorite SPF is Elta Envy Tinted Skin Care, and it is SPF 46, no less than 30 people. Lip balm or lip gloss? Lip balm, all the way. Tinted moisturizer or foundation? Tinted moisturizer. Dry, oily, or combination? I'm gonna go with combination. Lightweight or heavy moisturizer? Morning, always lightweight. Nighttime, always heavy. Skincare minimalist or skincare maximalist? skincare maximalist it has been more than 20 minutes just full disclosure i would give it about 25 to 30 and it obviously all depends on how thick you put it on i put it on pretty thick <laughs> lady gaga meat dress vibes my skin feels really soft it doesn't feel like it was too harsh or drying it actually feels moisturized as well. And I feel like my skin tone looks very even right now. After any mask, it's obviously very important to finish out your skincare routine, always moisturize, whatever you like to do. So the next steps for me is I'm going to be using my SK2 Facial Essence. Um, like I said, it's basically just like a superfood for your skin. And it's yeast-based, which <laughs> sounds really gross, but it's phenomenal. So I just do a couple drops. And then I rub it on my hands and I just blot it into my skin. I am so happy with the way that this mask has made my skin look. It feels so glassy almost, which is obviously, that's the goal. This is a wonderful base for any serum. This is my holy grail, SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. You don't need too much, just a couple drops. So after that, I'm not gonna be going into the sun today and I'm feeling like putting on a deep moisturizer. Just, I'm really letting my skin breathe today, especially throughout quarantine. So what I'm going to be using is Mario Badescu's Seaweed Night Cream. Um, it is evening time here. So I'm just gonna 
get started with a good old deep moisturizer. And seaweed is a really, really wonderful superfood for your skin. Again, it's great for antioxidants, has really, really beneficial properties for skin. There you have it. My skin feels really amazing right now and I'm super happy with that mask. It's so satisfying to have a peel off mask, but it wasn't drying and it wasn't harsh like other peel off masks I've used. And my skin looks so even right now, much more so than any other mask that I've used that's like a purifying or a peel off mask. It left it really soft. It like, it didn't leave it dry and tight like a lot of peel off masks do. 10 out of 10 would recommend, would do it again. Thank you so much for watching Mask Them Answered with me. I had a great time and I hope you guys did too. And also make sure you go out and get yourself this mask. It is amazing. It looks pretty, it smells nice, and it works. But in the meantime, let us know what masks you're loving in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Marie Claire's YouTube channel.